Here with a halftime briefing, how's it going, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? The Yes Network about two days ago released the starting lineup of the New York Yankees, or potentially the starting lineup of the Yankees. And they faced backlash because it's a joke. One being, whatever you think about the DH on the New York Yankees, I think John Carlos Stances should be marketed as a left fielder. It helps Major League Baseball as a whole. Obviously, he's marketable. That's the only problem I have with the John Carlos Stanton trade. So, with that being said, I believe with that DH slot specifically being taken up, I could see injuries happening yet again. In 2018, the Yankees were playing specifically Gary Sanchez with that DH spot being occupied. Sure, people could make the argument just... Plug John Carlos Stanton in left field like Boone did here in 2018. But there are so many DH caliber players on the Yankees like Boyd, Judge, Gary Sanchez that really, if you want to maintain playing a full season, some of these guys the Yankees need like Judge, like Gary Sanchez. So it's really hard giving them a day off. So this lineup it has Tulewiski starting at shortstop. It even left LeMahieu out. He's making $12 million per season. That's just a joke. On paper, this lineup is not scary. It's blah. You know, everybody in the comments on that Twitter post of the Yes Network stated, hey, they need one more missing piece, and I agree. The Yankees are not built for speed. They're built for hitting the home run ball. They're built by like, like a tank, like a tank in the battlefield. And the talk about the Yankees needing another starting pitcher, I agree, but they have an abundance of pitchers in their minor league system. Again, I see that as an excuse by the Yankees front office or just fanboys of Miguel and Duhar to put out that, forget about it, just spend the money on starting pitching. And yes, I am a fan of Miguel and Duhar, don't get me wrong. But defense is key to a World Series championship caliber team. Just imagine if Luke Boyd wins that first base position. Defensively, you're going to be weak at the corners. I'm sorry. You're going to be defensively weak. And in my opinion, defense is better than getting another starting pitch. You got a platinum glove winner and a gold glove winner, still a free agent. That really doesn't strike out that much and can hit for power and can hit with runners in scoring position, and it has a WAR off the roof. So check out this starting lineup of the Yes Network, and you guys leave your opinions in the comment section below, and tell me what you guys think. All the pomp and circumstance of opening day is right here. Oh yeah, see ya! Home run hit! A monster blast by Aaron Judge! Another extra base hit for Andujar. 121.7 miles per hour. Sanchez destroys that to left field. A two-run home run for Boyd. Now he's got some guns on him. He's got some power. A two-run shot for Tulowitzki. Runner goes. Throw to second. Stolen base for Gardner. A walk-off home run. And a child leads them to a win. A masterpiece for Luis Severino. The Bronx Bombers are out today. Before it hits the front. Page.